again. It is week two of me being in India, so uh, I am going to continue with our text adventure. I was thinking that at this point let's just make a map loader and figure out some sort of a file format. So maps.txt, that will be our map format. Let's do something like name on one line, description on the next line. Mm, let's give it maybe a ID and then that way we can set them all up together. So we'll do ID, name, description, north, south, east, west, that sort of format. Um, let's make this shorter. So we'll just start by copying what we already have. Um, I like to do full lines so that I could just use get line description. Um, and then we can do the rest. So this is, uh, let's say, using this again, this will be room zero. So we'll have room one, room two, room three, room four, and so on. And they'll each have uh, different things. So we'll just use um, like that. I don't know. We'll do use two get lines for the name and description so we don't have to like parse through all of that and then we'll just use uh, cn to get the rest of it so we'll just say room begin room end just gonna parse all the stuff yay <laughs> Manually making map formats. Okay, and we'll just copy. We got car. You've parked your car here. Cave exit north. Oh, wait, I should make sure we're going. Yeah, two is cave exit north. Cave loop in is going to be our number three. Copy this over. Kind of just copied that as well. Number four, cave loop south. Uh, cave exit south. We could even like put a little counter in here, like if you stay in the cave too long, the cave will cave in, and then you'll get a game over, if we wanted to be mean like that. Um, so let's just focus on loading in map files first. Okay, um, we have that, and we will store north, uh, no. South, room two. East, yeah, room one. No. Okay. Um, north, south, east, west. And we'll just put null as defaults as I do my copy pasting. You don't need to make a map editor. That would be a, a waste of time. name description. Okay, um, so room number one we have west goes to room zero, room two north is room zero, west is room three, room two, and so on. All of the things. Um,
Mm. Room five. I forgot to put the this thingy. Okay, east room six. West room four. North room two. Okay, now number six, you're not going to be able to go back the way you came because we're going to say that there was a cave in. So you can only go to room seven, room seven, south is room eight, north is room nine, <coughs> room eight, nine. I think the only room with neighbors on every side. Room 10, just south. Room 11, just west. Room 12, nothing. That could be our end room, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, we can also say room start, uh, or what's it, starting room. Room zero, ending room, room 12, or something like that. So, let's include F stream. And down here, we can actually start loading in our room. So, I have stream input map maps.txt. Um, string buffer. So, Maybe since we're using those IDs, we should go back to using a map for that. So a map with a string ID and then a room pointer. Um, so we'll have to adjust some things. So when we create a room, we'll do that. That's fine. And then we have to pass in an ID. So we'll say rooms at this ID is equal to room. Is that going to be okay? We don't need to return an index now because it will already have a key associated with it. We'll see. I might be, I, I'm trying to think because you can assign values to a map at a key um, without like that key previously existing. You just can't access map at that key if there's nothing there. You can't like pre-access something. Um, okay, so we'll do while input can go into the buffer. If buffer is room begin, then we know that order is gonna be key, um, name, description, so let's make strings for those. Uh, and north, south, well, these are going to be IDs. East ID, west ID. So we will then do input into the ID. I'm trying to think if I need to do input.ignore before doing get line, input, name, description. I don't remember if it's between CN or, you know, input with the stream, then you ignore and then the get line, or if it's get line, ignore and then stream. <laughs> Something. It's one of those. Then we can do um, input buffer. Mm. North and input north ID. We are going to assume they're going to stay in the same order and that we can always rely on that. Now the problem is I haven't loaded in all of my maps. 
so I can't set up those pointers yet. Um, do I want to... what do I want to do here? At some point it seems easier to just not have pointers and just use storing the IDs, which I guess we can do. Let's do um, string neighbor IDs, and we'll have an array of four, because we have four directions, and then we can just use um, this enum. So can go in some direction, uh, and we'll just say if it's, I guess, double quotes null, then we can. So. Um, Four and i is zero, i is less than four. If what is that name? Neighbor IDs at that is not null. I should make something that like get direction string. Direction direction. If direction is north, return north. Some languages would just let this turn into a string on its own, and they, it would be smart enough to, to do that. And it's good to use enums because that also is better checked by the compiler, so you're not doing stuff. I guess we'll do else return unknown. Uh, okay. It's not null. Then we will output neighbor IDs. Wait. Uh, we want direction for i, whatever i corresponds to. <laughs> okay. I think that will be okay. We'll probably have to update some other places. So these, we'll just say for if i is 0, i is less than 4, i is close. Neighbor IDs at that position is just going to be null. Let's we'll use that for there being no f no neighbors, set neighbors. Um, string north, string south, string east, string west. I'm trying to think of how to like nicely make a uh, named parameter in C++. But... Like, I don't know, you can put a map in there maybe? That'd be annoying. Um, neighbor IDs north is north, south, east, west. I just really want named parameters. Um, and then, yeah, I have to update the thingy up here. Uh, Void. I need to put a semicolon at the end. Oh, sorry, I forgot that. I wasn't full screening my text, my window. Okay, so then this, and if neighbor IDs north is not null, so then we just have to update all of these. Um, west, east. Actually, now I can make this a little easier. Um, if direction equals direction of i and neighbor IDs at i is not null, then we can return true, otherwise return false. So now we don't need this that way. Okay, now we don't have that corresponding, but we can pass all that information and create room. 
string north, string south, string east, string west. And we'll update that in a second. Um, so erase these. Uh, okay, so where is that? Technically after that it should be the end, so create room, um, our ID, name, description, north, south, east, west, but with ID. And so I'll need to code that later. Hey cutie. Hello. What's up? Hello. Just here for my butt down and grief too. What? Why are you here? <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm making a text adventure. Oh. <laughs> oh, your cup is misplaced. Oh, no. oh, I didn't have the thingy on. Hi, mm. Rai. Hello. I'm recording this because we're going to be in India for two weeks, so this is uh. going to go up while we're in India. Oh, you're going to. Okay. It's going to be like that way. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. Drink some more coffee. Um. Okay, now I need to. We don't need to free this memory now. Create room. So M rooms with that ID. Um, it's gonna be a room. Do I have? I have a. Constructor. I guess I can do that. Name, description, and then also set neighbors. Uh, oh wait, is this a map with? Oops. That should be right. Yeah. Okay. We need to make a new room. Set neighbors. North, south, east, west. Is that okay? Oh, we still do need to free that memory, but um, auto pointer room in m rooms if pointer room dot second because this is the auto loop is not null pointer, which it shouldn't be. I mean, if it's in there, it, it should not be a null pointer. Can I do this from within a loop like this? I guess we'll see. Um, okay, so current room, now that's going to be, how do we want to do that? We can still use a pointer to the current room, but now we have to get um, the key. So string key is the current room dot get dot uh, let's just say get neighbor so that we don't have to access that stuff directly. So get neighbor ID direction direction. go. Code blocks is getting on my nerves. I guess it's doing that because it's not in a CPP file. I just have everything in the HPP files. Um, return neighbor IDs for that direction. Is that causing any problems? Request. Okay, so we can do that. And we can also simplify this a little because here we also have um, get direction string and that direction. And now we're making it so we can kind of um, simplify this. So. Let's do for int i is 0, i is less than 4, i plus plus. 
direction direction equals um, direction whatever i is. Uh, so if string util to lower of direction, uh, let's see, string um, command one that we can use to go this way is going to be um, string util to lower uh, get direction string of this direction. <laughs> And command two is going to be just the first letter. So um, I have to look it up. I forgot. Uh, is it position and then link? Okay. So command one dot substring zero link one. So you can use either of these commands um, to use it. So if user input equals command one or command uh, user input equals command two that means they have entered north as the first direction um, then we can say if the current room can go to that direction then we can say status you went and get the direction string for our direction um, string key is that, but with the direction, and we update the current room, and then none of this needs to happen, except for our unknown command. So let's say bool moved is false, and if you happen to move, um, <laughs> user input movement so if they happen to input movement we will set this to true and down here we'll say if they didn't input movement because at the moment we don't do anything else we'll say unknown command or no, status is unknown command okay is that gonna build Where's my terminal? Okay, let's try that again. Bag fault, yay! Um, so let's see. This is where I usually have my nice logger. So we'll go back to our my uh, C++ um, utilities use this logger I made we'll add it in here and add it in here and I like to just kind of add um, function information here so I can kind of see what is happening in the program flow. So create room and then this will display to the prompt but I can also tell it to not. I think that's in here somewhere. Loud is false. I think loud just says whether it displays it to the screen. I also have to set it up, so, um, logger, set up, loud, not loud, logger, clean up, okay, build, <laughs> I can close that, and let's well, it's going to make that log inside of this folder. <clears throat> so segfault, then we can look at this. Setup, program, setup rooms, run. So once it's trying to access the 
Oh, well, I'm not setting a starter room, so that could be a problem. Um, so starting room, then we need to get the, the key is the next one. So input the buffer m pointer current room is going to be our rooms, but we need that thing. Um, and I guess let's have... Just a string of the end room. Now you have a yellow shirt on. Yeah. I spilled some coffee on the red one. <laughs> oh. Did it not do the thing? It, did it build? Ending room. Starting room, room zero. Uh, program set up rooms. Doing that? Is it not triggering? Let me close my other terminal. Uh, and open the log. It's not outputting that at all. Um, here, keep my terminal down here, and okay, it's not displaying that in the log at all. It should be. Am I opening the right log? Yeah, it is. That's the right time. Function start, set up rooms. I'm just not sure if it's actually doing anything. Okay. I mean, I know it's doing it clear there, but... Why? What? Are you not reading? Okay, maybe just maps. If input dot, uh, what is it, is opened, or error, will it do, um, I have to look it up, I don't know, C++ F stream, I have stream, open, I don't know if error, um, okay, or we can see if it's good. If input dot good, if it's not good, then say logger out error opening file. So, oh, oh, wait a minute. It's because um, when I'm running it from this path, it's different from if I were running it before. Should probably also just, uh, I don't know, maybe return something if it can't do it right, <laughs> so it doesn't break everything. So run, uh, set up rooms, success, if not success, m done is true. Um, okay, I'm going to set this to just build to the base folder, because that makes it a little easier on me. 
because then our log will be in the same area. That that did nothing. Go back here. Just one of those. And open this with Firefox. Okay, so there it is actually outputting the the stuff. Set ending room, read in ending room, set starting room. Um, okay. Now is it not actually running the game though? Run program create. Set up rooms, function start, program run, status. Uh, logger out, or if m done, logger program is done preemptively. Oh, also, I'm just, maybe it would help if I returned the data that I need. You know, things like that. Okay, so now we can, it should be loading that south, you went south, west, you went west, and so on. Okay, so it's actually like loading in the file. Um, let's update it, get ignore. I don't know what else I need. We do not need to have log.html show up. Um, and we don't need text adventure <coughs> the executable. Okay. Loading in map from text file. Now we can finish our map information. So, uh, oops, um, do I have all the neighbors set up? Did I do already do that? Okay. So we have blocked cave entrance, number seven, another part of the forest, um, forest fork, the forest forks into two paths here. Room number eight. Uh, I don't know. How does a forest end? <laughs> Maybe there's cliffs around or something. Forest edge. Oops. Forest edge. Um, you're as far south as you can go the cave wall the external cave wall wraps around this area impeding progress but you can go back north if you go north let's say um, building ruins an old shack lays here. Um, falling apart from age and mold. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you can go north. Old kitchen. The kitchen has a terrible odor of long rotting foodstuffs. To the east, this is old bathroom. This bathroom smells worse than the nearby kitchen. There is no indoor plumbing in this house. Just a hole in the ground. I don't know. <laughs> you have made it to the end. What is the end room? You like came here looking for 
Why why are you in this cave? Why did you enter a cave and go in here? Um What else would a shack have? Like a bedroom? You take a nap. The end. Old bedroom. You find an old musty bed and decide to take a nap. The end. So, um, we can also add if the current room, oh, I'm not storing the ID of that room, am I? We should put that in here so we can at least keep track of its own um, ID. I guess that can be just a, not a struct, but a class, but if the current room get ID is equal to M ending room ID, um, then we are done. Uh, actually, we'll say done and then continue so we don't have to add any more code. Um, so it'll have an ending. The end. Menu pause. Okay, is that all good? Can you run it? Oop, that's not what I want. It'd be cool to add like a, a visual map type of thing. Um, south, west, south, east, east, oh, east, south, north, north, oh no, oh no! Uh, um, I should like write a unit test that goes to like every map and just make sure nothing messes up. Um, okay. What, what was wrong? What did it crash on? West. I went north to the kitchen? I think. I should add some more log information. Um, handle user input. Logger out user entered user input program handle user input um, resulting status status. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, try to move. Stupid band one is the direction. Um, so we can kind of check it on that. What else might we need to log? I think that should be good. Let's kind of just play through again. Um, north. No, oh, no, it doesn't know what that. I don't have an error message for that. Um, else. 
uh, status is you cannot go get it. direction string direction here. You're gonna break from the loop in that case, I guess. North. What? Oh, oh. Else if. Oh, no, no, this goes in the other place. This goes inside here. North. You cannot go north here. Okay, south. Now, this one's messed up. Um, cave exit north. Because you're supposed to be able to go south to room number five. But yeah, that's fine. We can just go around here. South, east. There's a cave, lead to a forest. Walk by cave in, go east, south, north, north, east to the bathroom, west to the main area, north to the kitchen, which broke. Okay. You move north, resulting status went north. Um, Mugger out new room. Do that again really quick. South, 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 east, east, north, north. Um, room 10. Oh, I don't have an ID for it. So it was not working with the parsing. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, south, south, meh, south, east, east. North, north. Yay. Um, west. You find an old musty bed and decide to take a nap. The end. And then it says you can go. Um, maybe. Uh, let's not do the output neighbors here. We'll do that from in here. So display the room. If we can go somewhere, we'll output the neighbors. Um, and then we'll do some end lines to make it nice again. Okay. South, south, east, east, north, 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 south, west. Yay! We did it. We got to the end. The best game. Can you hear that music in the other room? <laughs> My husband's listening to music. Okay. Added an end room. So there's like not any objects to manipulate or anything or any monsters to fight. It's just walking around this area. Um, we could add more features, but I don't know, isn't the game perfect as it is? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and maybe use this as the... I. So I don't like having blank images. Um, oh, I meant the GitLab thingy. It just bugs me. So in GitLab, we're going to go to settings, 
change the avatar. Oh, projects, text adventure. And now you can view it. And we can also save this screenshot, I guess. Uh, let's make the console smaller and, again, more opaque. Completely opaque. South, south, east, east, north, north, southeast, west, north. I don't know. We'll do this. Copy. Uh, screenshot. Then we will update that. Text adventure. Yay! Screenshot. Uh, screenshot. Yay! Now when we refresh it here... Oh no, did it not add the readme? Oh. I need to add it from here. Wait, where's my readme? I added it in the wrong spot. Okay, move, text adventure, readme, back here. Okay, fix this again. Readme. Really? Wait, where did it go? I definitely have a readme, right? There we go. So then you can see a screenshot of the game. Yay! Yay! Well, now I invite you to add on to the game. And uh, so fork it and then add some features and then create a pull request. And we can add on to this text adventure together. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was fun. I don't know, yay.